What's going on guys? It's the Crypto Lark here. Today we're going to be talking about Cardano, ADA as the ticker calls it. We're going to be looking at what Cardano is looking to do. We're going to be looking at the team. The team's really exciting on this one actually. Have a look at the competition, have a look at the price action, all that great stuff after a quick shout out to everyone who has been hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel, guys. Thank you so, so much for continuing to support the channel. It's absolutely awesome. You guys are the ones who make all this possible. So that is absolutely great. Thank you so much, everybody. And of course, if you want to continue to support me, you can support me over on Patreon or follow me along on Steemit. And of course, quick disclaimer, this is not professional financial advice, guys. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies. Let's get into it. Cardano, it is a new blockchain, a blockchain which has been developed by scratch, from scratch, uh, by the group IOHK, it's Input Output Hong Kong. They are a well-funded group who have, you know, taken into account everything, the legal, the scientific, the theoretical, a big group of academics and engineers came together and built the Cardano blockchain using, you know, scientific uh, philosophy. They've got it peer reviewed. They've done everything possible to try to make the best blockchain possible. Really global team as well. They've got, um, you know, developers working in the Ukraine and Russia and Japan and Argentina and the UK and Hong Kong, of course, all around the world. Very global team as well. So it's a really interesting project. Now, they, one thing to keep in mind about Cardano is that it's still quite new. They don't have everything out yet. In fact, their roadmap isn't even out yet. So that would be something. I, when I say they're quite new, they've been around since 2015. Let's keep that in mind. They've been around for a few years. Um, they've been in development all that time, of course, by IOHK. However, you know, the, the technology still has a long way to go. They're going to be bringing in a smart contracts platform smart contracts platforms no no how am i reviewing another smart contracts platform oh my god this one's really exciting and that's why i decided to do it. i know i know guys smart contract platforms but nevertheless nevertheless they're gonna be looking at all those things they they as they say themselves they looked at all thousand plus of the altcoins and tried to take the best ideas from all of them and bring everything together in this it is open source as well so anybody can go and look at the code they took some of those ethereum classic principles and tried to bring them into cardano so all very very interesting stuff here it is a proof of stake mining so you know much friendlier for the environment of course that is the uh, self-eating snake the ouroboros here pretty interesting stuff they wrote a whole white paper simply on the proof of stake mining very impressive. Now, Cardano itself, what is it? Right now, it's represented by the ADA currency or ADA. We can we call it ADA? Let's call it ADA. The ADA cryptocurrency is the current representation of the Cardano ecosystem. Now, it has a lot more coming than that. It's not just a crypto, guys. It is going to be a technological platform financial applications they want to target individuals organizations governments smart contracts legal agreements focusing on commerce focusing on business it is a business solution it's really really interesting of course of course daps you can't do anything without doing daps these days daps 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 so obviously they're doing uh, that as well so they're bringing a lot to the table here and I think it's going to be pretty big competition in the space. Now, currently it has been listed over on Bittrex, but I did want to point this out as well. That they're actually going to be selling it out of ATM machines in Japan. They've already got five locations working and they got another 25 uh, coming within a year. So that's pretty cool. You can also get an ADA debit card. Also pretty cool if you want to spend your ADA that way. Okay why cardano why so look they they go into some really great stuff here I, I i highly recommend you get over here and check out their website it's a really interesting website they they give some really interesting details lots of great interviews with uh charles hoskinson for example who's one of the the founders of iohk and a massive ethereum classic 
uh, enthusiasts. They actually have a shout out to Ethereum Classic uh, on the IOHK website as well. This is the IOHK website. As mentioned, that code is open source, so you can just go over to GitHub and have a look at the code if, you, uh, if that is your thing. If code gets you off, there you go. Get the box tissues ready, guys. Okay, let's have a look here at the Daedalus wallet. It is a pretty nice looking wallet. I did download it. Um, you know, it's pretty easy and of course, you know, simple to use. So easy stuff. Of course, a wallet is the basic thing that any cryptocurrency has to have. So that is in of itself, nothing that is amazing. But the one thing I do want to point out about their wallet, it doesn't actually require you to download the entire chain which, hey, at the moment, it doesn't really matter. The chain's not super big, but in the future, that'll be really, really relevant because it allows you to do what's called checkpointing. And now checkpointing lets you come into the chain and say, hey, okay, this is where I started at. And you don't actually have to download everything previous to you. Now you can if you need to. There might be reasons why you need to do that, but you know it allows for kind of quicker download and you know, up use of the wallet. So I quite like that feature. I think that's pretty cool, to be honest. Okay, you can have a look over here on the GitHub if you want. Uh, as mentioned, you can check out all that sweet, sweet code. And there's, of course, a lot going on over here on the GitHub, especially now. But man, they are, they are pretty active over here. So that is great to see. I imagine that their Twitter is going to be really taking off quite a bit pretty soon. The Reddit is uh, fairly active as well. Obviously, everyone wants to know what the heck is Cardano and, uh, you know, should they go buy it? Mostly is what's happening over on there. Now, this is the team here who developed Cardano. So they had a nice big team of PhD guys and developers working on Cardano, which is very impressive. What impressed me even more, they had a whole big separate team of people working just on the wallet. This is a really serious company, IOHK, and they're really putting a lot of money and a lot of research into trying to do the absolute best blockchain possible. So it's pretty impressive what they're doing. Now, we got to talk about Charles Hoskinson here. When we talked about Ethereum class, like I did mention Charles briefly, and uh, Charles used to be the CEO of Ethereum. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, of course, he is the CEO of IOHK. That's Input Output Hong Kong, again. So he's been involved in the space for a long time. And of course, you know, that old Ethereum um, classic, you know, stay true to the code kind of guy. And so I see this as being really big competition for Ethereum, not just because these guys worked at Ethereum. And we're going to talk about the competition a little more as we go down the list here. But Nevertheless, the the philosophy behind Cardona, Cardano, Cardano, is really interesting, right? They said, let's let's do the science, let's let's do the theory, let's get it peer reviewed, let us make the best blockchain possible. So that is really really great. Kind of reminds me a bit of um, you know what the guys over at Nem did when they came in and said, hey, let's make our own blockchain, let's make it awesome. So I really like that about these guys. Uh, Jeremy Wood, of course, also here. He is also a former Ethereum guy. And you know, he is the uh, co-founder and chief strategy offer at IOHK. So again, really good people behind the project here. I'm really excited to see that. And they are hiring huge amounts of people as well. So, you know, definitely a lot of room to go. They're very serious about what they're doing. They do weekly updates. So you can come over here and have a weekly update on what they're doing. That, of course, they're really trying to be focused on transparency, on being open source, and on you know saying, hey, this is what we do. And that is really great. Of course, Ethereum could take some lessons immediately from what Cardano are offering. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, well, what the heck? Why, why didn't I get to participate in this ICO? Where, what, where was this ICO, Lark? Why weren't you talking about it? Well, they actually did a pre-sale uh, starting all the way back from September 2015 uh, up until uh, January 2017 and that was done through a company called Attain Corporation and they sold almost exclusively into Japan. Now there were tiny percents of people from uh, China and Korea and Thailand and so on and so forth down the list of you know 
tiny amounts of money from some of those other countries. 95% of the business went to Japan. The Japanese are the major holders currently of this. So, wow. Absolutely wow. This, of course, is the Bitcoin value here of what was received. So, 102,000 uh, Bitcoin were invested here. That is very impressive. Just from the Japanese, of course. Just from the Japanese. And, of course, interesting actually to see the ages as well. The majority of the investment coming from 35 to 44 year olds. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. But even some under 25s getting in on the action. Nice. Nice to see that. Just some random facts for you guys. Now, having a look today at the price action, we have seen, of course, a lot of immediate um, interest in Cardano. But it kind of came in and started to go down. So it came in at its basically almost its highest value at 574 Satoshi. Now 629 it got up to. So it's been going up and down a little bit, but we haven't seen any major price movements in it. But if you are patient, I think you're going to be able to pick this up for a little bit less than it's currently going for. Just because, you know, there's a lot of hype around it right now and a lot of people are buying in. But if you go and have a look at, uh, you know, the buy walls on Bittrex, for example, Bittrex is the only exchange which is listing it currently, by example, 100% of that volume. Well, $55 million in 24 hours, pretty gosh darn impressive. But if you go look at the buy walls, the, uh, there's definitely not as many people looking to buy it as there are people looking to sell it. So, you know, we probably will see a bit of a price decrease coming up on that, but maybe not very significant. So I would like to point that out. Nevertheless, it's got a lot in store for it. It's only the currency right now. We only have eight of the currency at the moment. Moving forward, they're going to bring out the smart contracts platform and all the rest of that stuff. They're just getting started over here, guys. They're just getting started. So a lot to come still. Now, something like Cardano really spells a lot of trouble for someone like Rise. You know, Rise, really nice um, platform as well. But man, they got some serious competition in store from Cardano. Eternity also from former Ethereum related people, but I guess we're going to have to see whether or not Eternity can hold on again. That space is getting very crowded, guys. The, of course, the dApps and the smart contracts and all that fun stuff. AOS, of course, still nine months away from finishing its ICO, but, uh, you know, they will, they will be competition in that space one of these days. One of these days. Ethereum Classic, of course, we talked about recently. Uh, Charles Hoskinson, as mentioned, is an enthusiast of Ethereum Classic and has been one of the people actually behind me, you know, breathing life into Ethereum Classic. But of course, the, uh, the million dollar question, can they compete with Ethereum? Well, that'll be interesting to see. That will really, really be interesting to see. I would like to see the roadmap. The roadmap's not out yet. Follow them along uh, on Twitter. And you'll be able to you know, keep up to date with the information as they come out with that. But it would be really nice to see some definitive information where they plan on going. Now, we know what some of their ideas are moving forward, but we don't know exactly how they plan on getting to those ideas. So although with a team like this, I'm sure they're going to be able to, you know, to pull it off. How big of competition will this be for Ethereum? Now, look, they listed at a $600 million market cap, which is still, you know, 140th of the value of Ethereum. So if you are looking at getting invested now in Cardano, if you think they do have that potential to be a big competitor in the space and, you know, looking at the people behind it, yeah, I think they definitely have that potential to be some real competitors in the space. I think it's a matter of time before they start catching up to Ethereum. Will they ever replace Ethereum? That's a speculative question for years down the road. Anyway, guys, time will tell if Cardano can, uh, you know, make themselves a major competitor in the space. Obviously, they need some high-level partnerships to add that massive value into their blockchain, but I have a feeling that they're going to get it with the kind of team behind them that they've got. But let me know, what do you think about Cardano? Are you enthusiastic about it? Are you bullish on it? Do you think that, man, they're just going to keep rising up the charts? Have you already bought in some? Let me know about it. Hit me up in the comment section down below, guys. Really interested, as always, to know what you know what the crypto community thinks about this one. What do you guys think about it? Is it, are you interested in this project? I've already got myself a little bit of it, not very much, not very much, but you know, I'll, I'll 
keep an eye on it. I will keep an eye on Cardano. I think it's a really interesting one. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate, of course, you know, taking the time to uh, out of your day to watch the video. Guys, long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.